Sunday, July the 18th, 5.30 a.m. here in New Mexico. As you can see, the sun is starting to come up. Uh, I've been driving about, <coughs> about four hours. And no, about six hours. I have four hours to go. Um, on our way to Alabama. So, not a whole lot going on since yesterday. Um, kind of looking forward to maybe tomorrow hearing something back on my resume. Uh, getting a little anxious on that. I know that the guy who's hiring for the position was on vacation this week, so that's why I didn't hear anything. Um, I'm just ready to get out of the truck for a bit. Um, I don't know. I just, this, this was good and I enjoyed this over this last year. Um, and I could do it. If I needed to do this, I could do this, but my aspirations are a little bit higher. Uh, I look for, um, coaching and supporting multiple people. That's kind of what fulfills me and that's, uh, So, uh, this was really nice to step back um, and kind of uh, get into a new career path, um, new experience, getting to see uh, places in the U.S. I haven't been to, getting to see places that I've been to before. Um, the new experience, I never in my life thought I would ever be like driving a big rig. Um, I've done it, I've done it successfully, I've done it safely, um, and it's, it's, not a, it's not as scary as I always thought it was. Um, it's more scary with the other people around you, <laughs> but anyhow, so that's kind of um, just, you know, it took a chance at something new. Um, it gave me the opportunity to get to see my dad multiple times um, to make sure that he's doing well. Um, I got, I got the chance to see my brother, um, my grandmother, you know, by doing this, it allowed me to kind of check in, to do some things I didn't think I'd get to do for, um, really at all, like go to Florida, go to, um, um, SeaWorld in Florida. We got to go to, um, oh, what's the place called we went to with Harry Potter and all that. Anyways, you know what I'm saying. Um, just to get to do some things and see things that I've not seen, you know. Uh, I got to see parts of Washington I've never been to. Um, beautiful. I got to do uh, get over some phobias about driving in a big city like Los Angeles. Um, I had a really big phobia that I would never drive in, in LA. You know what? It's not as bad as I seem to remember back in my early 20s when we used to to go for the weekends. And I just was so scared, and really, it's not this scary. Uh, I think that um, controlling a big vehicle like this and involved with all that traffic, the one thing I learned is you're okay, slow down, give yourself plenty of room. Um, people will cut in front of you constantly, but it's okay because you're controlling your own self. Um, and reduce the risk of, of having an accident by just letting people do what they're going to do. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, so that's some of the phobias I got over. Um, there's still things I would like to do, and the money is, is really, is really good. Um, I may go to the office and then find out, you know what, I really need the money more than anything else and may jump back in the truck. You never know. Uh, but it's an option I have now that I've done this and I have my CDL and just continue to maintain my CDL um, It gives me the opportunity that I can jump back into the truck at any time. So um, Definitely nothing that I regretted um, As thankful of I, as I was with the insurance with getting starting a progressive progressive is a great company uh, They really take care of their people uh, at the end of the day, I just, it wasn't my cup of tea, right? I mean, I did it, um, but towards the end there, I just wasn't happy. Um, I wasn't, I don't know. Well, I wasn't happy with where I was and with the people that I worked for directly, I guess, is probably the best thing. If I had not switched departments from sales and went to the PAA, I probably would still be 
there is probably still be plugging away. Um, but I think I took that chance and it didn't pay off for me. Um, I enjoyed working for my boss in Phoenix. I enjoyed the culture and the uh, my peers in Phoenix. Um, I felt a disconnect with the new department, with it being run out of Cleveland uh, and being remote. Uh, that was a disconnect because I'm a people person and I, I thrive off of that interaction, that personal interaction, that, um, that daily touch or the ability to be around my peers. Uh, and the second part of that was I chose to be the work from home supervisor, which kind of put me back even further away from the things that I thrive from, um, which is that personal interaction and interacting with my peers and, and the people that I work with. So, uh, and then I went from that into the truck, which again, you were like, well, you just said, do you want to be around your peers? I do. But the other thing too is I was around my husband who I wasn't around. Um, Alex and I were not seeing each other for three to five weeks. Um, in the beginning, it wasn't too bad because we needed a little break, but then it started getting really lonely, and then I started getting really kind of, um, really missing him. So, it was it was good to be able to jump into the truck. Now we're ready to kill each other. Not really, but, um, you know, it's there's a little tension, but nothing that we couldn't work through. Um, but, you know, him and I both talked, and really where I thrive, and what I do best is in that office environment, in a coach position, a, a support role, um, and so that's kind of where um, I wanted to to work with is getting into that role. Um, I know I haven't flipped the camera around; it's just not light enough yet to see me. So I just keep it on the on the road there. Um, so let's see, um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of where I'm, why I'm moving, the direction I'm moving to, um, I have Alex's support, uh, the other thing too is that once, if and when that happens, um, then that would also, Alex is looking to move into uh, a different lane, which would be a dedicated route or regional route, which would allow him to be home on the weekends, which I can deal with that. I can deal with him being out five days and at home two days. Um, or home nightly, depending on what he gets, or every other day, or you know, a couple times a week, whatever. Um, as long as it's not like weeks at a time, like OTR is. Um, you know, where you're only home for your home time, and the, the way that formula works is for every seven days that you work, you get one day of home time. So really to get three days off, you have to work three weeks to get those three days uh, or four weeks to get four days. So, um, which, you know, is a good formula and that's what afforded us to be able to go to, um, to SeaWorld and go hang out in Orlando and go to uh, damn it, it's going to kill me because I know exactly where I was. Um, what the hell's the name of it? It's where we went to Harry Potter and uh, it's not Disney. Um, it is... Shit. Anyways, I cannot think of it for the life of me. Uh, anyhow, that's what allowed us to go and do those things. Um, also, we've done home time in Denver uh, where we were able to see my family. Uh, we've done home time in Boise a couple times to be able to, to see my dad and check on him and my, my mom and um, we've done home time in Phoenix where you know check on my sister and of course for our doctor's appointments and to get home for our medicine refills um, and yeah so those are the, the, the things that we've done we actually did done home time in, in Missouri uh, with my brother and the Vanos. Um, and it seems like, I think that's really the home time we've done. 
the, the only home time that we've done that we've not been with family has been when we were in Florida. We had, uh, we wanted to do a lot more, um, like we wanted to do Chicago this summer. We wanted to do uh, California, but you know, with um, with COVID still being out, and now actually with the rise in COVID. Um, in fact, I just heard on the news today that as of midnight last night in LA County, um, vaccinated and unvaccinated, you have to wear your masks indoors again because they um, have increased to 1,300 cases a day, um, and they're starting to get an increase on COVID. Um, LA County has 10 million people living in it, so it's a lot of people. Uh, I don't remember the numbers of uh, the vaccinated versus unvaxxed and all that. I just remember that um, starting last night, it was now mandated that uh, masks have to be worn indoors again, regardless of your vaccination status. So, um, and that further mandates will take place if those numbers don't start coming down. Um, I'm hearing those numbers are going up quite a bit in other um, states as well. So I kind of feel like there's going to be some more mask mandates coming. Uh, if we're not careful, there's going to be stronger things shutting stuff down again. Um, I don't know. It, it's To me, it's pretty cut and dry, pretty simple. Um, get vaccinated. Let's get through this. But, uh, you know, I'm not everybody. I don't I don't claim to understand what drives people to do what they do. All I can do is understand is try to not try. All I can do is respect their choices as an individual and um, you know, give space and hope that they do things to make sure that they there's the same consideration for those that want that social distancing, for those that want to be uh, people to be masked around them, or you know, whatever the case is. But um, something else that was I found quite interesting is 46% of all Canadians um, have had both vaccinations, and 70% have had at least one. Um, which is great compared to, I think it's like 41% of all um, eligible people in the U.S. have had both vaccinated, uh, are fully vaccinated, and only like 50% or 51% um, has had one vaccination. Those are the eligible people. So that's not counting the, the, the minors that are below the age of 12 that's not eligible for a vaccine yet. Um, so it's kind of scary, especially when we have these variants popping up, and we know that the variants come when you have a lot of cases. Uh, it gives that a little, uh, it gives the the virus a chance to mutate because um, you know the more hosts it has, the more chance it has to try to mutate whatever. So. Um, it's a political thing for some people uh, when really it's all about being safe and healthy but uh, again that's that's my mind that's what's going on in my mind so I can't claim to understand what other people do but I do respect your choice um, and let me see what else um, so yeah so I think that um, you know, and something else too is, um, so my driver leader has just taken, I think I mentioned she took a, um, a promotion to another department. I think she's like,
of seats kind of takes that and it gives me something to do to keep me motivated or not motivated but um uh keeps keeps my mind going and um keeps me from getting in that like lack space i don't know but anyway so there's that um had a, a really good weekend. Um, I hope you enjoy today. Um, and I will probably do another video tomorrow. Uh, we deliver in the morning. Uh, as of yet, we don't have another um, load, but I need to get with the planners because uh, Alex let me know yesterday he only has four days left of his uh, metformin for his uh, diabetic medicine so that means that we need to get back to Phoenix um, within the next four days so that um, he can get that prescription refilled so I'll probably be on the phone with uh, planners today to see what we can do to work us back to Phoenix um, to take care of that so but anyhow that's it guys so um have a really good day i know i said it already but have a really good day um be blessed be safe wash your hands socially distance mask up if you need to back to to that conversation uh, i think it's just so important to help us get through this pandemic because kind of the way we're going through it now is not working um i want to get that hurt community uh, easy way rather than the hard way. The hard way is having a lot of people infected and gaining immunity through that, which is not good because it allows those variants to pop out. Um, and then all the all the terrible flooding that's been going on, not only here but in the UK and uh, the heat waves and you know, all kinds of crazy stuff. So please take care. Uh, love your, your people. Take each day for granted. Take each day as a blessing, and, and uh, make sure you let the people know that you love. Let them know that you love them, because tomorrow's never promised. So, all right, guys, I love you all. Take care, and I will give you an update again, more than likely tomorrow. 